It's time for the Gizwiz with Mavs Maddest Rider, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1761, recorded Thursday, January 2nd, 2020. This show is the best! On this episode of the Gizwiz, the best gadgets that we covered in 2019. Next on the Gizwiz! It's the same old show with Dickie D and OMG chat on your PC. It's time for the Gizwiz because gadgets are his business. They've got a gizmo sickness, geek disease, under pathology, rows and rows of USBs, growing blue and LEDs. Get ready for the Gizwiz now. Now! now. And here is the best host of the Gizwiz, Dick D. Bartolo. How you doing, Dickie D? I'm fine, but no, you're the best. No, you're, you're the, the best. best. No, you're the best. <laughs> and uh, in 30 years when we're still doing this, we'll be saying, do you remember when they thought the Tesla was like an exciting car? Right. Oh, my. What were they thinking? Now remember it just runs when on air. Crazy about like cell phones. Those <laughs> things were so stupid. Augmented reality, uh, yeah. virtual computers. Now you computers, just think of you thing. just hold you just do this, and it goes right to their head, and you don't even need a phone. Yep. But until that happens, we're gonna look at some of the best gadgets of 2019. It's kind of fun because, as I mentioned on the our last show, uh, not till ten minutes before we recorded this did I know. Uh, Chad's list or he mine and it was amazing especially in the good stuff we both liked a lot of the same yeah. stuff yeah it's, it's uh, not so that hard just... I mean it just needs to be cheap work well <laughs> yeah. uh you know and be a, either a do, that... do, do something yeah. or be weird enough that you want to own it yeah uh yeah easy. yeah easy, and easy. in that category be cheap and weird enough that you want to own it is I, uh, one of my favorite gadgets is the lantern flashlight fireplace. <laughs> okay. You yeah, have a little a bit name. of video yeah, of do. that. And then I'll show you something else in that line. Uh, maybe if you uh, uh, maybe. Uh, there it is. They, uh, yeah, that's good. Okay. So uh, it can be, you can hang it in a tent and it can be a lantern. You can shut the lantern off and you can lift it up and it will be a white lantern like that. Again, hang it up if you want in a tent, but you're outside at night and it's getting dark and everybody's sitting around the table. Wouldn't it be nice if we had a magical fire? And it really does look magical. I mean, it, it, isn't it? It great? goes from the white light, which is just super bright, to fireplace. It's a yeah. It's a uh, and it's. I think it's still like eleven dollars on Amazon. Um, so you know our chat room. They said, "Well, Mister Disco Dick, don't you know that on Alibaba there is a disco version?" <laughs> Well, there is, and there, and I bought one. Uh, okay, so as you can see, it's similar with this weird thing on top. So it does the same thing. On the bottom is the flashlight. Shut that off. On the top, <laughs> you, you now have a disco light. You can go from soft, cozy, romantic to disco in moments. A exactly, and. It does that. There's the fireplace part, and you close that, and you lift it up, and it's the lantern part. But wait, there's more. Has a solar panel on the side. That is awesome. I know. And, and oh, I just noticed a USB too. A USB. And I think that's USB out to charge your phone. And somewhere there's USB in to charge the device in case you're not getting any sunlight. Uh, so it's an internal battery. You don't put batteries in it. And this on Alibaba was uh, the same price as the uh, non-disco, non-solar, non-built-in battery on Amazon. I think I paid uh, $12 or $13 for it. Um, I mean, 
<laughs> you know, you don't need to. Someone says, wait, it's an emergency. Why did you bring a disco light? And then I'll say, no, no, no. The other end's a flashlight. No, you don't understand. You don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I cannot find uh, that on Amazon. I'm searching for it, but uh, oh, okay. I think it's only it on gone? Alibaba at the moment. Oh, wait, maybe. Oh. Maybe I found it. No, oh, this is, wait. Oh, that, this is a totally different it's one. It's a different thing. It has the same sort of stuff. But right, instead except of a, this time, no fireplace. No, more disco. More disco. <laughs> oh, my gosh. 15 bucks. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Yeah. You can get a red one. It kind of is fiery. It has a red yeah. innards. There you go. I like. I'm. I've always. I thought that was great. I remember you showing that at the uh, meetup, and it was adorable. That was, it was very cool. It, I like that a lot. Really, yeah. It really is neat. Um. Uh, next. Yes, you are. I have one of another thing from Alibaba. We have two things from Alibaba. This is from the Alibaba month, and this is a mini bag sealer. And oh, I love I, I love that. Yeah. I, I have I, I put three things on my list. I said, well, I like these, but they're from Chad stuff. Yeah. Yeah, show this again. This is great. So basically it comes, it's, it says it's from As Seen on TV, which is very funny because it came from Molly Baba. But it comes with a whole bunch of bags. I have some more bags around here. And you put food inside of one of these bags. And let me see if I have... Uh, Maybe something that's similar to food. Let me take this 3D printed uh, cat thing. Or maybe some slime. Here, we'll take some slime. Uh, this is the chili slime. So this, you know, that, that is a good thing to, you know, add inside yeah, of it. Yeah, could, it could go bad. <laughs> exactly. We don't want that to happen. So we take that, put it inside. You seal it up. You take your vacuum pump, and this has its own internal battery. And you click the top to turn it on. And there's a little spot that you place the pump on. And there's a seal on that bag that somehow just magically decides. Oops, sorry. I took it off right as it started working. I've noticed that it does take a few, a few seconds to sort of get the seal correct. Huh? Oh no, now it's not going to work, now that we're... <laughs> Is it doing it? <laughs> I don't what? think so. <laughs> Maybe it says, wait a minute, that's not real food. Yeah. Why am I doing this? I re and I remember doing this with a, a um, t-shirt as well. Is this not sealed? Wow. Too bad we already recorded the worst of gadgets, because then I would have <laughs> switched categories. It seems like it is, it's really working hard. Okay, let's move on from the chili, maybe to something a little smaller, that I can easily set the uh, bag flat on. So here I have this little 3D printed cat. Throw that inside. What's funny is, um, Oh no! <laughs> it worked so well before. It did. What is? Is it doing it? Why? Why is it not working now? Well, that's sad. Oh, there it okay. goes. Finally. Oh, there it goes. There. Oh, oh. Oh, it just takes a oh there. Oh, it takes a bit. Wow, wow. And it really, I mean, like it really works. It makes cool sounds. And then when you're done, you have completely sealed uh, inside, vacuum sealed. Yeah. Um, stuff. And this is great for keeping food fresh. Um, we found more bags on Amazon. I remember. And yeah. it's just a great. And these bags are reusable. You can just. You know, open it back up, get your thing. You know, I just really like that. I also, I originally got it because I've used some vacuum seal bags for, uh, for OMG Craft. And whenever we go to a Minecraft convention, I've been using those bags to keep all of the merchandise sealed up and easy to move from one spot to another. And I was hoping that the 
the size would be compatible. I swear, something magical happens where it just decides to make a seal. But there we go. It's working again, so. Maybe I just didn't give it enough time with the, uh, the chili. Um, and it didn't work on that huge bag, but that's totally fine. These, for these sort of smaller things that you would just obviously have in the kitchen, it ended up working just fine. The price was also a really nice thing, that it was inexpensive. This thing was only five bucks. <laughs> um, and, and it came with bags? Uh, yes, this one came with bags included. Um, so yeah, yeah. I, I really enjoyed it. And as you can see, it works on clothes. If you're gonna go somewhere and you kind of want to pack down all of your shirts or something like that, and then obviously food and all that sort of stuff as well. I really want it to get it to work on this uh, chili, but I, I just don't think that it will, no. Um, there you go. Uh, so a mini vacuum for these resealable, reusable vacuum bags end up being one of our favorites for 2019. Very good. Very good. Um, so a very simple one that I liked a lot is actually from Amazon and Amazon has a line of, uh, cheapy things called Amazon basics. And it was the Amazon 12 outlet basic power strip. And uh, we'll show you a picture of it here. I think you have a link to it or, or me holding it. And so it comes with a really heavy duty uh, cord. It has four outlets in the corners that are widely separated so you can get four transformers. It has the locking plugs. They work, they work kind of neat. I have several outlets with locking plugs that I can't use because I can't unlock them for some reason. <laughs> they just won't slide across. These are very open. I can even open and close it with my fingernail. So it takes four transformer plugs in the corners. And then it has two uh, LED lights on uh, either side of one of the ends. One of them glows green just to show you that the power strip has power. And the other one glows green to tell you that the... Uh, power, uh, if, you, if you get struck by lightning or something, it, it's lit up to tell you that that circuit is active. And I didn't realize that if something, a big surge goes through a device like that, that little whatever is in there to sacrifice itself burns out. And when that happens, you can replace the power strip because there's no way to fix it. You can still continue using it as a power strip but it won't have the protection. And there it is lit to show you that it is both powered and the surge protector uh, is in the system. And it's 22 bucks with 10 feet of heavy duty cord. So I thought that was a really good buy. Yeah. <clears throat> I, I kind of wish Oh, it's that... cheaper. Yeah, look It's at 20 that. bucks. 20 yeah. bucks. I almost wish that uh, one day I'll just invest in having all the same power strips in my house one day when oh that would it, be great you know once i win the lottery or you know that kickstarter thing that we've been talking about finally takes off all the power <laughs> strips will be the same in my house that'll yeah. I'll, I'll know that i've made it on that day yeah. uh that would but be yeah good. this is nice that would be good can't have too many power strips no sir with that another gadget that i loved and i remember you loved as well Oh, I, I love this. This was the Kickerland mini microphone. So I bought this expecting it to be completely crummy, just like really, really bad. And all it is is an itty bitty microphone on one end. On the other end, it has a headphone jack, so the 3.5 millimeter jack, but this will plug into a cell phone no problem. It's basically made for a cell phone. And then it also has a splitter for your headphones. So you can still use your own headphones with it. And the kind of the marketing around this is kind of like it's a mini karaoke microphone. So you could plug this into your phone, use a karaoke app, and this would be a good microphone to use uh, for that. We ended up using it with my iPhone and the quality was not that bad. 
I was actually really surprised at how it sounded, and it was inexpensive. $11.25 here on kickerland.com. Uh, and it, no complaints. I was expecting the crummiest little microphone I'd ever heard, and it ended up being quite a good one. It only has about three feet of cord between you and the phone, um, and it has this nice chrome finish on it, but it ended up being a fairly good gadget. No, I remember uh, uh, you did a little test with it, and it, the sound was really great. Yeah, here, I might yeah. be able to find that test quickly. Yeah. And also, uh, Dennis and I spent Christmas Eve on the Kikaland boat at the marina, the Whoa. day before Christmas Eve. Yeah, he, uh, uh, Jan, uh, Jan Vandero is the name of the guy who founded Kikaland. That's awesome. Um, yeah, finding this video is a little bit <laughs> more difficult than I expected. Um, oh, here we go. Here's here's the video, actually. Um, boop. Let's see. For phone to see if this is actually capturing with this instead of the camera mic. Oh, oh okay. That's not bad. So, so I'm kind of amazed that it's actually fairly good quality, <laughs> that it actually doesn't sound absolutely horrible. Um, yeah, I mean that's so Gizwiz if I get quality. Really close to my mouth, I can talk. <laughs> exactly, that is obvious. that is Gizwiz quality. That's a Gizwiz quality microphone product right there. <laughs> there you go, the Kickerland Mini Mic. Love it. Uh, our next gadget is uh, something that was at. Um, the pep, I think it was a Pepcom event and I walked up to this lady and said, Oh, is that a new kind of luggage? And she said, no, that is a mobile scooter for people who may have trouble walking around. And I said, well, <laughs> just show me how it works. And, uh, well, you can run the audio on it if it's handy. Yeah. I, I love yeah, this it, because it reminds me of last week's horrible product the the bike that folded up this is yes <laughs> this is like the that good went, version that went of nowhere it. Yes. yeah yeah exactly and do you want oh, when you said fly in and i was going to say i want one of those okay you can take it in the plane you can take it in the plane you can basically take it anywhere anywhere you want to go all right let's open it up okay okay here we go okay the other one it was like a three minute process yes yes this one okay you got your handle Oh, you and, and adjust it for height. You turn it into a trolley mode and just walk with it. This is okay, if you want to go through to the airport, airport with it. Or from place to place. Yeah. And in a few steps, just be careful because I'm going to open it. Be careful. It looks like... Hold down. Now we have a platform. It seems so now much more... Now we have a seat that a comes seat. up. Ready to go. And that... That is and now we have handlebars oh that open gosh. up. Would you like to try it? Well, I'm just going to sit on it because I don't want to run anybody down. Okay, so it's adjustable. You can choose the high and, <laughs> and go. Like it looks and so, like, sturdy, I think, right. is the other thing. that it's just. Yeah, yeah. yes. It, it was uh, designed by a traveling salesman yeah. who started having trouble walking. This is amazing. And he it's thought, amazing. instead of it's renting Israeli scooters product. and getting wh who knows but, what, you know, yeah. I'm going to invent a scooter time. that I can take on an airplane. Yeah. And so, so it, all the batteries are airplane rated. It could fit in the overhead compartment, I assume? Yeah, yes. It, it, comes, it, it divides into two bags so Got that it fits it. into the overhead rack. That's it's it's very, very clever. And it's called Atto, A-T-T-O. Addo. And then what was the, do we remember the price? I assume that it was Yes, it's very, it, it's, it's very expensive. I think it's, uh, was it $1,800 or something? Yeah. I wonder if this uh, is covered by like insurance if you, uh. Oh, you know that, uh, good enough could, insurance. Be. <laughs> could be. Could <laughs> be. Yeah. It doesn't, it, it kind of is like you have to go to a dealer in order to. Uh, yeah, get yeah, one. exactly. I, I think they want to uh, give you some training and whatnot. Yeah. But. That's um, awesome. It's a very, awesome. very, very clever idea. My next gadget is, on, this one was submitted from some folks who, uh, on, on the website, they filled out the form, and this was one of the gadgets that they said was their favorite. Once again, I'm sorry for not 
getting your name, next year I'm gonna put a name field on there so I could thank you in person because I really do appreciate anyone who filled out the best of worst of gadget form. But this is the cable cuff. Um, I also reviewed another one called the mega cuff, but this is a product that will keep all of your cables organized. And when I showed it off, there's a whole bunch of sizes. I mean, tons of different sizes, stuff for USB cables all the way up to these massive uh, extension cords. And it's a very, very cheap and simple product. So here's what it looks like. It's just a cuff with a button on the top that you press so that you can release. It'll you know zip up and then stay tight. This version also has a little bit of a loop so that if you wanted to run a, a string through there and so you could kind of keep it around, you can do that as well. And so far I've been using it. I've, I've used it for a few different uh, extension cords. Um, and I almost need to buy like a smaller one because this one kind of is a little bit loose. But I've, I've really enjoyed it. It was a gadget that I got for the show and then ended up actually using after we recorded the show. Um, I keep lots of power cables uh, together and all, and all those sorts of things. Here's the mega cuff version on Home Depot, four bucks. This is one of the larger of those uh, cable organizers. And it was great. It's been a really, really nice thing. And to be honest, I, the Cable Cuff Pro, instead of the Mega Cuff, I actually ended up liking a little bit better because it included the loops for strings and, and stuff like that. Um, and I felt I like see there's a, a, a big one uh, in that picture. It was one that would hold a garden hose. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, they they are they go in they range in every different size. Um, and I, I'm the the cable cuff pro versus the cable cuff. You can sort of see on the website that there's a button on the cable cuff pro, but on the cable cuff there's sort of this extra little thing that you have oh, to pull I, yeah. back. It's almost like a joystick you have to depress. And I liked the Cable Cuff Pro that had just a button that you could push down in order to release the teeth there. See, so it's, it's very inexpensive and it was a really nice way to keep your cables organized. It gives a nice handle on them and easy to keep everything together and inexpensive. So there you go, Cable Cuff Pro and Mega Cuff. And thank you to whoever submitted that on uh, the website because you guys are awesome for going through the time to fill that out. Thank you so much. All right. And moving on from my uh, back to school week uh, on ABC, I found the anti-theft backpack and I thought, you know, what's anti-theft? Let me just buy one of these. Back then it was... I think just twenty dollars. It's gone up a little. I think it's twenty six now. Uh, but oh, oh well, that's good that you have that up there because you look at it and you go, uh, oh, I see why it's anti theft. There's no opening. There's, There's no, no way no to zipper. put anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, it turns out that the zipper is in the back, and the zipper goes up against your back. So what you do, you have you have to take the backpack off. The zipper is kind of hidden in the lining all the way around the back. It opens wide. There's a, a, a padded, not terribly well padded uh, section for a laptop. And then there are two cables in there. One of them can hook up to a cell phone that you can keep in there. And the other can go to an external battery pack that you have in a pocket in there. And then both of those go through the side of the backpack. So there is a little uh, opening waterproofed because it has a cover over it. So you can plug your phone into it so you can have your phone on the outside charging from your external battery pack that you put on the inside. And if you're still, if you're not using Bluetooth, you can plug headphones into the headphone jack and have your music uh, inside the bag. Uh, the company says it's water resistant. It's really good looking. And with that zip up against your back, like on a bus or a train, there is no way, even if someone could unzip it a little, they can't open it. You have to unzip it all the way around 
for this thing to open. So no way you could get uh, someone in there poking around to take stuff out. And now I think it's um, Chad found it earlier. I think it was was it twenty six bucks. Yeah. So they had uh, the car, the model that we reviewed is not available. It looks like they've sold out. But there's another model that's twenty six dollars. It looks like the same thing. Yeah, the, I think it is the same thing. Exact uh, same you, stuff. Yeah. Uh, and this one comes in black and gray, so yeah. you have a, a choice. And uh, also, I like it that, oh, this one, you know, I don't think mine had it. This one seems to have one of those extra belts that if you want to slide it over luggage, yeah, you can uh, nice. carry it that way, too. That, that is, is really, really neat. Nice. 20, yeah. 27 bucks it is. $27? Uh, yeah. There we go. Anti-theft backpack. From uh, uh, Amazon. Carry <laughs> Amazon, <laughs> Amazon, right? Yeah, from Amazon, and available under thirty different names. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, choose your white label that you want. Uh, whoever's bought it from the factory and put their name on it, choose whichever one you want. <laughs> um, next is one that we both had on our list, and I've lost mine, sadly. Um, oh, that that's okay. Yeah, that's this okay because is... mine is better. <laughs> it is. It is. <laughs> okay. I okay. reviewed. So I forget what it was. Cell phone gadget? I don't remember. Tiny, itty bitty things? Oh, it was, it was tiny gadgets. Tiny gadgets. That's what it was. Um, it was a disco ball that fit on the bottom of your phone. Dickie D loved it and then found a better version of it. Yeah. Well, and, and yours, the reason I was upset and couldn't buy the one you had is yours came with a lightning the, connector. Yeah, on the lightning bottom. connector only for iPhones. Only for iPhone. Then I found it on Amazon that comes with a USB connector. So you could stick it into, let me just uh, hit the on switch for this guy here. So you can plug it into an external battery charger. But mine came with three adapters, USB micro, lightning connector, and USB-C. And I believe yours was $13. And mine were three for $13. Yeah. And each one of the three of them come with the uh, Android, the Type-C, and the iPhone adapters. Um, oh, it's even less now. It's 12 bucks. Yeah. eleven ninety nine. So... Uh, they're just great fun. I'm actually going to take this little guy to my hotel room in Vegas, <laughs> so I can I can have a uh, have a my, disco. It was so it was bright and it was it was easy to use, obviously. And I think it even had a little microphone in there to. It does. Sort it of... does have a microphone, so as you talk, you you can hear it bouncing to your voice. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's astounding. Cute. It's awesome. It's astounding. Awesome. So uh, anything disc, any, anything disco light technology we like, you know, as long yeah. as you throw that in there, we're happy. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, um, we're coming to the last gadget. And this gadget, it's not quite a gadget you could buy quite yet. But I remember covering no. it and we both just love the idea, want it developed, want this everywhere. Uh, you want to talk a little yeah, bit more about yeah. it or you want it, me to? It's called Heart Hero, and it was developed by a doctor who worked for maybe the Peace Corps. I forgot where, but he would travel in the jungles and, and places where there was no hospital nearby or anything. And, and he thought if only there was a way to have uh, one of those devices – that people, I, I think now like gyms need to have um, uh, yeah. an automated defibrillator, okay? And department stores might have one. But he said, how about if there was a defibrillator in every home? And so they, they have been working on this prototype. And I said to the guy, will the actual model be this size? And he said, that is. He said, that is a working model that is, he said, it probably won't reach shelves till September 2020, because even though we have the device and the device is made, <laughs> we have to go through a million government regulations and agencies to get this approved. So I asked how much it would cost, and he said, 
I said a defibrillator for like you'd have at the gym or something are about is about sixteen hundred dollars. And we hope to bring this in for about half of that. So it would still be eighteen hundred dollars. We don't know yet if some sort of medical plans might even pay for you to have one so that you would uh, not have to go to a hospital quickly. And the, the, I think the doctor, there's, there's a video on their website. It, it's totally automated. And he said the one thing people are afraid of is hurting somebody. And the spokesperson said it won't, it won't fire if the heart will not be helped by an electric shock. So there's no fear. And, and as you, as you're watching the video, you can see it's like the size of a large paperback book Yeah, and it's voice activated. Uh, there are diagrams, the little pads that go on your chest. There's a diagram that tells you where on the chest to place them. Then the voice will tell you that yes, uh, electricity can help this person have people stand back. It, it's just totally automated. And I'm thinking you talk about a life-saving gadget. This, I know. this could, this could really be it. I know. So, I, I love the idea that it's approachable. You don't have to go through, I hope that you don't have to go through like a dealer to get it or anything weird. Like it would be amazing if you could just buy this off of Amazon. And if you're a small business, have one around. If you're someone who knows that you're at risk, have one around. I, I feel like if it could be, at, if you're walking through Walmart and you see it, just pick one up. Like, I don't, <laughs> I just feel, feel like this could be a product that is as ubiquitous as a fire extinguisher. And that would be yeah. amazing. That would save so many people. The number one, you know, killer is, what, I think I maybe I take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but isn't it uh, heart uh, disease? I, I, be, I believe and, it is. I believe and, it is. Yeah, this seems amazing. It seems you know, like yeah, get it done. <laughs> Let's go. No, exactly. If people are like there are ten apartments in this building, that would be uh, eighty dollars an apartment. Yeah, and we could have one out in the hall. Yeah, in, in case anybody that. needed it. I, yeah, love I that. think it. The, the, the thing I, I, you know, in this day and age, I'm just hoping that companies that make the big version don't start, you know, saying, well, no, you shouldn't have this. In a, uh, this is not for everybody. Not this is not good enough. You, yeah, you exactly. need the professional one like we make. Uh, I just wish them a lot of luck. It's, it's yeah. Hard Hero, and you can read about it at hardhero.com. And as I said, not available. They're hoping uh, by September. They'll have some. Uh, Hopefully, it doesn't become like folding mate. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, this exists. <laughs> yes. Okay. I mean, he didn't. He didn't physically uh, shock yeah, anybody. Yeah, you didn't see it working, Dick. I don't know. That no, could have been a prototype. Right. We we couldn't find anybody uh, at Pepcom <laughs> who was uh, needing a, a hot shot. Yeah. Um. <laughs> um, but anyway, <laughs> I, think, I, I think that's probably the best thing I saw this year. Yeah. For life saving gear. Uh, we're, we're coming up to the end of our show, but we want to give a big thank you to our patrons. You guys make the show happen every single episode. Thank you, thank you, thank you to, so much to everybody who supports the show. You guys are incredible. Big thank you to you guys. You know who you are who give every single episode. Thank you so much. If you like the show, get, head on over to gizwiz.tv, uh, click on the Patreon tab, and there is a big banner that'll take you over to patreon.com slash gizwiz, or there is a PayPal link on that uh, page as well, so you can support via PayPal, support via Patreon, whichever way you support. Big thank you for supporting the show. We love making the show, and we're so happy that we can get a little bit of financial support for giving it to you guys. It's incredible that you guys uh, help support the show every single week. So thank you. Also, while you're there, gizwiz.tv, you can check out the show live. We're live just about every Thursday, 4.30 Pacific, 7.30 Eastern Time. And all you have to do is head on over to gizwiz.tv and we'll be live there if we are live. If not, it'll be the most recent episode or uh, the most recent taping. And there'll be a chat room there that you can also join and chat along with all the wonderful folks in the chat room. Thank you for being here, guys. Also, if you don't catch the show live, no big deal. Head on over to gizwiz.tv, 
click on any of the older episodes. You can watch them all there or on our YouTube channel or on iTunes as well. So however you want to watch the show, please do. Also, I want to remind you this episode, we'd love to hear from you. We do a segment in normal episodes called The Gadget Warehouse. Uh, I don't think we're doing that in January, but starting in February, we'll be doing videos again. If you have exactly. a video. Exactly. So we, yeah, we can use some videos. Anything it, about a gadget, one to three minute video, a gadget that you have in the seller that you can't throw out because you spent a lot of money for it when you were a kid. Any kind of gadget, a gadget you love, a gadget you hate, a weird gadget that opens eggs in a different way than, <laughs> than all the ways we found way. over the know. years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, make a make a little video, put it up on YouTube. Uh, you can click unlisted. There's a drop down menu when you upload and unlisted means only people with the URL will be able to see it. Send us the URL. And if we show you a video, uh, you'll get the current issue of mad magazine and an Alfred E. Newman picture. That's now like, I don't know, 36, 37 years old. Uh, so we can use some videos, especially new people who haven't sent in a video yet. Please do that. Very simple. Just use your phone, horizontal plane, and make sure we can hear you and show us the gadget. Love That's it. it. Uh, head on over to gizwiz.biz. That's our sister site. That's where Dickie D writes up fantastic articles about all of the gadgets that we cover on the show. And you can play What the Heck Is It? It's the game show online. All you have to do is scroll down, find the What the Heck Is It banner on the side of the website, click it, and there it is. That's the gadget, the whole gadget, nothing but the gadget. Uh, you don't know what this gadget is. You're not supposed to know, um, so you you know make a guess. I, I happen to know that this is uh, a failed gadget. They don't make this anymore because of how dangerous it was, but you would fit AA batteries in the back, and then it would launch them at people just like a Nerf gun. <laughs> Uh, it was discontinued due to the lawsuits. Uh, but if you think you know what this gadget is, get a guessin' over at gizwiz.biz. There are six Mad Magazines for correct answers, if you do know what this is, and 12 Mad Magazines for incorrect answers, because we want you to be funny, clever, hilarious, and interesting. So get your mind working over at gizwiz.biz. That about wraps it up for our show. We'll see you next week. I'll be here. <laughs>